Hello and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing our friends at FaveDiets.com how to make a spinach artichoke chicken casserole. Now this is a reinvention of that bubbly, warm spinach and artichoke dip we all love to devour on the buffet table this time of the year. So I thought we could transform that appetizer into a simple, well-rounded, one-dish meal. Between the lean chicken breast and veggies, along with some lighter ingredients we'll use in the sauce, we won't be feeling guilty when we dig into this dish of comfort food. Alright, let's get started. For this dish we'll need 12 ounces of chicken chopped into small pieces, 8 ounces of gluten-free short pasta, I'm using ziti here today, a 10 ounce package of frozen chopped spinach which has been drained, a 14 ounce can of quartered artichoke hearts, not the marinated kind, 2 cloves of garlic finely chopped, one third of a cup of Pecorino Romano cheese, one half cup of sour cream, one half cup of cheddar, one half cup of softened cream cheese. All three of those are light varieties. Two tablespoons of light mayo, one cup of milk, about a tablespoon of olive oil to saute the chicken, and some salt and pepper to taste. Now first we're gonna cook the pasta one minute shy of the package instructions, then toss it with some olive oil or nonstick spray and set it aside. Now on a large nonstick skillet over a medium high heat, add the chicken with a tablespoon of oil and saute for about five minutes or until the chicken just starts to brown. Then push the chicken to one side of the pan and add the spinach and garlic to the empty space and saute for about two minutes. If at any point the pan gets too dry, add a few tablespoons of water as needed. Then add the artichokes and stir to combine. Add the milk, sour cream, cheddar, cream cheese, mayo, and pecorino cheese, and stir to combine as the cheeses melt and blend together. Allow the pan to simmer slowly for two minutes. Then stir in the cooked pasta and stir for another minute to combine and heat everything through. Now truthfully you could eat this just as it is straight from the pan, especially if you're not a fan of the crispy top you get with a baked pasta dish. But if you want it to resemble the spinach artichoke dip, then pour the contents of the pan into a greased baking dish, top with grated cheese and paprika, then place it under the broiler for two to five minutes or until the top is as golden and crispy as you'd like and this dish is ready to serve. I know that you'll love it as much as that dip it gets its inspiration from. And it couldn't be simpler to make. If you wanted to, you could even use cooked leftover chicken and just stir it in around the same time you'd stir in the artichokes. So I hope you'll give it a try. And if you'd like to see this recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for more free, healthy recipes and tips for virtually any diet, Visit my friends at FaveDiets.com. See you again soon.